Welcome back to another episode of Piping Up. In this episode, we are here at Trinity Lutheran Church here in Quaker Town. This is another look at another Walker technical organ. This one's a little bit smaller uh, than the one that we had looked back in episode one. Uh, but this is still a mighty pipe organ. In this one, we're going to actually get a chance to look at some of the pipes. So we're going to go meet the organist here, and we're going to see the sound difference between two different sanctuaries. And let's take a listen to it, this episode of Piping Up. channel. This is uh, Michael, the organist here at Trinity Lutheran. We're inside the building now and uh, I have a couple questions for him. So Michael, how long have you uh, been playing here at Trinity Lutheran? Uh, I arrived here in 1997, so we just celebrated our 25th anniversary. And that's including you and uh, the pianist here? The right? pianist John Torch, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So and that's, that's, I guess that's enough time for you to know the organ well enough that you can confidently well, when say. I, when I arrived here, uh, this was not the instrument that we had. The pipe work, the original pipe work was by Moeller. And there was a two uh, manual artiste console here. And um, a number of years prior to my arrival, um, they built the cantilever, which hangs out over the choir loft and those uh, stops are basically a principal chorus and they were um, tied to one group of stops that was not tied in with the combination action. So all the other uh, stops of the organ worked on the pistons but when I wanted to add anything that was out here manually, physically I had to pull the stops out so that uh, when we cancel or push general cancel, those stops would stay on. So I uh, was 
a master at being able to push general cancel and, and shutting all those off at the same time to try to keep it smooth. And uh, after about three years in, uh, as I said, I came in 97, around the year um, 99 to early 2000s, we decided it was time to explore other possibilities as far as, uh, you know, upgrading uh, the organ, making an instrument that would tie everything together, the, the exposed division as well as the, the uh, pipes that were in the chamber. And we looked at several possibilities, but primarily our organ committee was interested in a hybrid or a digital interface. So uh, there are several companies around the country that do that type of work. We looked at the Allen Company. Uh, and we also then were introduced to the Walker Technical Company. And uh, Bob Walker uh, and uh, his group came in and we were comparing uh, both companies basically and the church design, uh, decided on the Walker. And uh, so we, uh, this is interfaced with digital stops as well as um, the, the actual pipe work. And at the time we had all the uh, pipes removed, cleaned, revoiced, uh, and put back together. The console is a custom uh, design console built by Colby. And uh, of course our, our uh, architecture in here, all the um, pews and everything are the blonde. Uh, wood and so they were able to match not only the color but on the side of the console the designs uh, that match the ends of our pews. So uh, you know we we worked out the the the, the stop list and and so forth and uh, it's a very romantic sounding instrument but it plays all repertoire music very very well. So as I mentioned before at the beginning of this video, this is this almost the same type of organ that is at First UCC, also in Quakertown here. It's the same uh, style, but it's a little bit smaller than the one that's there. Now, how many uh, pipes are in this organ that you I, know? I probably, I don't know. I've never really counted uh, the pipes or the ranks of pipe. So that's an, a question I wish you would have asked me before. I could have gotten that information for you. But, um, uh, you know, it, it's, it, it is uh, a lot. They're, they're, the church actually sits east and west. So on the west side, uh, we have one division, which would be the swell division, which is the upper keyboard. And then on this side, we have uh, the cantilever uh, pipes are on the middle keyboard or the great manual, and then behind that is a choir division, which has a lot of the uh, string stops and uh, that type of thing. And then from the actual pipe, then the digital works in. And the beautiful part about the technology of Walker is that it, it tracks to the pipe. So, uh, for some of people that don't know about pipe organs, it's, they're very temperamental and they're controlled. The tuning of it and the pitch can go uh, sharp when it gets hot and humid and it can go flat when it, the church gets cold. And we climate control the, the space year round, whether it's air conditioning or heat, to try to keep the organ as tight and close to it. And uh, unlike other churches here, we have not only the uh, beautiful sounds of the organ, but we also uh, use the piano uh, very frequently. We have a fine pianist, and so our music that we have worked together for many, many years is a lot of piano with organ uh, arrangements. Uh, and so with that being said, uh, the organ and, and piano must be friendly at all times, so that's another thing uh, that keeping the temperatures regulated works really, really well. Mm -hmm. yeah, and for 
the organ, any kind of pipe that needs to be tuned takes a long time to do so, so it's always best to keep an organ as well tuned as possible. So now, uh, if we're okay, let's go take a look at some of the pipes in this organ. So let's go take a look at some of those. So this is choir, all this is choir, and then we'll go through the other. And these are the chimes up here? They are chimes, but they don't, they are disconnected because we use the Walker digital chimes, mm -hmm. which are much, much better than what these. And you can see the way that Walker does the speakers, he works the sound of the digital sound, which makes it so different than Allen, works it off of hard surfaces. So you can see they're, they're pointed strategically in different ways so the sound will come and it makes it sound so much more right. authentic. Right. So this, this part is pedal. Mm -hmm. Okay. These are your larger ones. Yeah, these are all pedal pipe, and the, this is the big uh, uh, woofer for the digital. Mm -hmm. And then there's some more and speakers there up there. More digitals here mm -hmm. and there. Yeah, I see what you mean there. It kind of just hangs out there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then the, on the other side, there was shutters on the other side, correct? Over there, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So, I also noticed some of these are marked with the yeah, notes the, that they are. Right, yeah. right, exactly. Mm -hmm. What's the first thing that is temperamental to heat? Reeds, mixtures, mm -hmm. okay? I wanted all the reeds to be digital, mm -hmm. trumpets, mm -hmm. digital. I wanted the mixtures to be digital. Uh, and that's another thing that has certainly helped in the uh, tuning aspect. Mm -hmm. Makes it easier to the, work with. Yeah. yeah, it keeps it together more. Mm -hmm. uh, 
basically that principal chorus of the diapasons and the flutes. We do have some digital uh, principles on this, mm -hmm. but the main uh, diapason, the main principle is pipe mm -hmm. on here. So the pipes, uh, the, the uh, principal chorus would be your uh, diapasons, flutes. So that's, that's that. We, we just recently had a situation where the motor that controlled the shutters uh, failed after many, many years, so we just had to have a, a whole new uh, system put in mm -hmm. for it, and uh, working like it. Is that the motor that's up right in the corner yeah, up it, there? It, it, you have to go back mm -hmm. outside. This was the form of motor. It was, it's a Peterson mm -hmm. uh, motor. Mm -hmm. They, they uh, came and replaced it. Mm -hmm. That was just a few months ago. Mm -hmm. And you can see there's plenty of room for expansion. Right, for more pipes. If you wanted to, for more pipes, but why do it at this point mm -hmm. in time? Especially since you can always just to add more instead mm -hmm. to digital right. and just skip the whole the cost. The cost. Right, yeah, and cost maybe makes yes. cost money to do so. Yeah. Well, that was a great visit, and honestly, we learned a lot here today again. This was a great uh, Walker technical organ here, but um, I had to say, overall, this was a great experience. We got to check out the first uh, type of pipes uh, on this channel, and hopefully we get to see more. 
but uh, Michael is a great organist, and if you get, ever get a chance, you should check out Trinity Lutheran here. My name is Stephen Regatz. This is an episode of Piping Up. So long. <laughs>